everything here. <clears throat> I'm just putting, uh, covering all my uh, charms that I made with the shrink plastic up, and um, I'm covering them with some resin so that they'll last a little bit longer. So what are they going to be? Um, just little keychains. Um, nice. Some of them are probably going to go on a necklace if I can get them. Oh, okay. So, so I see you have white and then you have clear. Is that two things you do? Um, white and clear? Oh, the, yeah, there's uh, white right here. Oh, yeah, that's the Mod Podge right there that I just put on top and then that keeps the colors from running, I think. Oh, I see. Uh-oh, did uh -oh. they go around the... Did she go around the corner? This is not good. Juliet's in there? I'm doing it outside in the morning, and I don't think that it was a good idea to do this in the morning because this is the UV resin, and it mm -hmm. dries in the sun. Oh. So I probably should have not put this on out here right now. Okay, so that's a little problem. Yeah, I thought it was in the shade enough. So what do you have over here? Those are some of the ones that I did yesterday. Looks like barcodes or something. Yeah, those are um, Spotify um, links. Can you really get a Spotify on there, a music or something on there? Yeah, if you scan it, then it'll um, it'll take you to the song. Very that nice. You and then here's your little UV thing, huh? Uh huh. Well, she's got a little setup, and this is a small beginning, but <laughs> she can actually build on this. And she's got some completed ones. Which you can show us in a minute, right? Right. Again, I messed we'll this up a little bit. We'll show you that a little I later. Fast enough. So since that one dried a little bit too quickly, what are we going to do with the new next ones anyways? Um, these ones, I'm just going to go into the garage and cover mm -hmm. them with these. With the, ha leave the door open though because like they're pretty strong smelling. Uh-huh. And so you don't want to get sick or anything. Right. Um, but I'm just going to bring these in the garage and cover them with the resin and then bring them outside so I can here in the sun oh okay oh whenever you have that on the on the uh, on your uh what do you have in there to get that clean oh it's just some water so that cleans it yeah because i use the paintbrush for the mod podge and mm -hmm. just so it doesn't um what do you call it so it doesn't like spread everywhere i just put a little bit on the paper and then got some off with the paintbrush and put it on there oh okay and so i just like put it in the water right away so that it doesn't get dried up on there oh okay but they said if it does get dried up on there that you could use like hot vinegar or something to get them off oh wow okay thank you okay so we came into the garage so i could try and um See if it'll work better because the other one, when I was doing it outside, it started curing because I'm using um, UV resin. And so it started curing really fast and that's not good because it's leaving little chunks in the middle and stuff. So I'm going to see if it works better in here. There's still a little bit of sunlight because the door is open, but I don't think that'll mess it up. So let's see how it works. I'm going to practice on this one because... I really don't want to mess these ones up, and this one is just kind of a practice one, so I'm going to try it on this. Okay, so yeah, it worked perfectly. I just um, did it inside the garage, and it's still liquidy, so I can still move it around and everything. I can kind of... No, yeah, it's still liquidy. I was thinking it was getting harder, but no, it's fine. We did it um, in the garage, like I said, so I think that works a lot better, and then we'll just put it out in the um outside in the sun so it can cure because usually i use my little uv light but that's more for like if you're doing it inside the whole thing inside and um or if it's nighttime then you can use the uv light um but i just went ahead and i'm gonna let the other ones dry out in the sun and also another thing that i was doing is i just if you guys are making them into keychains i just put a little um piece of a toothpick in where the hole goes because the uh, I usually am fine without those at just going around the hole so it doesn't close up I'm really fine doing that but yesterday I don't know I couldn't really see very well so I ended up closing up some of the holes so you can also put something in them like a little toothpick or something while you're putting the resin on and then um, that way it'll 
keep a hole right there so you could see like that one. I put the toothpick in so it didn't get any resin in there. So I'm just gonna finish these up, putting um, the resin on them and then we'll put them outside to cure. Well, okay. So yeah, they, they turned out a lot better. I can feel it nice and smooth and they're drying really fast out here. This is the one that I started doing outside and you can see there's like little bumps in it and stuff like that because it was mm -hmm. drying. But these ones turned out way better. Yeah, they're you got really the sparkles smooth. on it. It looks really pretty. Yeah. This one I think turned out the best, the sloth one. Oh, nice. It's pretty even. But I left the little, I put a toothpick in there to keep it from going in the hole and I forgot to take well, I didn't forget, but I was trying to see if I left it in while it was drying, if it would work. And so, I wouldn't leave them in while they're drying, because it pulled okay. up a little bit of the resin. Oh, okay. Because these ones, I just put it in there and then took it out before I dried it, and they stayed fine. No resin got in there. Those look really nice. They're going to look nice on a keychain. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. Today, feels good out here. Beautiful. With California breeze. Hopefully we'll get some rain. It's supposedly coming. Right. So are you going to put those, the pineapple with that together or, or, or a stitch? Um, yeah, I don't know yet. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the pineapple, but it would look cute to go uh -huh. with stitch, I think. With three of them, huh? Like three Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would be really cute. 